Got one. Got one. Got one. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. All right guys, here at Clear Lake. Just about to start up a little friendly derby here. Kind of launching out of here to Soda Bay. And some little minor swells here. Little rollers. In these tournaments we're letting, you know, motors. But not everybody has motors, so. Just gonna have to make your own, uh, make your own luck. So we get our exercise in, how about that? I guess. See you guys when I hook up. Here we go. Yes, all right. So about eight feet. All right, guys. Ooh. I'm not even gonna say this is my PB because every time I say that, it's just like a few ounces right under. But this is a this is a biggie. I'm not gonna lie. Finally, we're on the board. This is a nice fish. All right, let's check it out. Struggling with this one, guys. Take it easy, off first one. Yeah. 249, 244. I'll just. Well, finally got my Clear Lake Revenge fish. Last time I was here. Oh my god, last time I was here. I had pretty much the worst trip ever, and it was my first time kayak fishing. I was in a lifetime tamarack. Uh, probably within the first, maybe first hour, we got out. I didn't launch from this area, but it went uh, hooked up. And again, this is like the first time I'm really bass fishing from a kayak. And I hooked up on a I, what I thought was a pretty big one. I'd say probably maybe three or four pounds. And I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm used to fishing from the surf where, you know, as soon as you hook up, you're just keeping your rod tip up. And there's no, you know, avoiding it from, from jumping uh, for striped bass. So I had my rod tip up when I was, when I was fishing. And of course it jumped. And right when it jumped, it, it, it spit the, the hook out. Um, you know, one of the, our partners was, watch and notice that too you said hey you'll, you'll want to you know keep the rod tip down from the fit keep the fish from you know jumping essentially all right so, but to continue on with that story probably i lost the fish so you know, I can tell i was pretty upset my cousin came over just to kind of check it out and i don't know we were banked up against each other we we're just kind of next to each other and I don't know what happened, but my rod fell out of those, those little, I guess they're, I don't know, they're mini rod holders, you know, that come with the Lifetime Tamarack. But if anybody has that, do not put your rod in there because I lost mine. And let's just say it was, you know, my most expensive setup. So I lost that and literally watched it just go down slowly. I tried to do you know, anything I could to, to grab it, but it just was nothing was happening. And so as soon as I lost that, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever had that, but I literally just felt that moment like, I feel sick. The roller started coming from behind me. You know, clear lake can turn up really quickly. And I got so sick. I, I'm pretty sure I was, you know, feeding the fishes at least once. Um, and you can just imagine, yeah, like after, you know, after you're nauseous, you, it's just really hard to concentrate on fishing. And, especially it being my first few times out, it was a doozy. So 
This is my first time back since then. Oh, oh my God. Come on, come on, come on. I got one. Oh my gosh. Let's go! Yeah. Woo! Let's fuck go, baby! Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna do that more often. Jesus, you gotta put the rod down. That's a trick. Let's go! Yes! Woo! Wow! Yes! Alright guys. Baby, look what we got. Literally a few more minutes left. What time is it? 2.43, let's go. There we go, baby. Yes. Yes, that is insane. Come on. I hope that puts me in contention at least. Probably not though. We got some freaking hammers competing today. The clear leg hammers. <laughs> I almost felt, I was like, what if I have a fish on the end of the line? And I literally picked it up, kind of pulled it out of it, see? And it was heavy. And, I'm like, and it worked. Oh my God. Imagine if we got another one. So I guess they really want like dead sticked or something. They didn't want it too fast. Obviously, I picked it up and I wasn't touching it before. And it was on my lure, guys. I just realized that was on my lure. I made that, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Dang, it happened. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, tell me why I'm just realizing now. <laughs> All right, well, you guys saw it. The lure works. I think I'm, I'm calling it the cleaver because it really does look between, you know, a craw and a beaver. So, you know, excuse my imagination, but my creativity with cleaver is the best thing I can come up with here. That was just, that was awesome. That made this whole trip worth it. That was awesome. But let's go uh, check out the buddies and see how they did. All right, so this is what it was, guys. This is what I'm gonna be calling my cleaver. It's essentially just a, a beaver with some bulbuses. I really like anything with the bulbuses on it. I just feel like it does really well. And here we tried with two different ones. One was uh, an actual one that I had bought um, from Coyote Bait and Tackle. I can't remember the exact name. I think it is a Gamakatsu, uh, or excuse me, Yamamoto. Um, but here, these, these are money. Look at that blue flake. So if you're interested, definitely uh, leave me a comment. If you can, follow me on uh, Instagram at Silicon Valley Bass. I am uh, just really starting out. I don't even have proper packaging yet. Those are that's coming in soon. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys want to try these out, I have these in uh, multiple colors and, and uh, right now in a green pumpkin, watermelon, as well as uh, fire crawl. And the, the fire crawl, I essentially sold everything I had. Um, the gentleman was interested in the paddle tails as well as the, as the creature crawls. So. 
I wasn't even able to bring some out for myself. I was just really, really busy the last end of this week and I uh, wasn't able to make some for myself. All right. That's it, guys. We'll go ahead and call it quits here. guys so we have our total here excuse my handwriting all right so we'll go ahead and start off uh, last going up to the first place so starting at last place we got Justin Justin caught a, a 15 incher got one fish for the day and it looks like Jake caught a 19 incher Jeez, Louise 19 incher so that's, you came in fourth place, buddy. Is my last? Your last place. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, no it's okay, yeah. <laughs> it's the East of 99. Hey, SDKBA doesn't do me very well. <laughs> nah, dude. So, all right. I caught my fish at like nine o'clock, too. Yeah, so last place, fourth place. No, seventh, sixth, fifth place. I came in 30, I had two fish, one in 15 and a quarter and 16. Dude, I had to take it with my uh, my GoPro because yeah. my phone died. Oh, so no. I was like, oh no. Like, snap the picture real quick. <laughs> uh, and then Danny, 51 and a quart, 51 and a half. Uh -huh. And then Robert coming in at third place, 78.75. Will's coming in at second place with 83 inches. And Scott, 88 inches, first place, big fish, 21 and a quarter. Cool. Yep. So yeah, second biggest fish. Dude. And we, we were, were close, both the dude. only people that caught one fish each. Remember earlier, dude, I was what? like, I was like, either we <laughs> caught one each and everybody else is doing equally bad, or we're doing really bad and everybody else <laughs> everybody is doing, doing better. better. <laughs> dude, I didn't have shit. I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm Where throwing. Were you getting them? Jig. jig. So within 10 minutes after, I was like, dude, I'm just gonna throw the jig. And in 10 minutes, I like. Oh shit, I got Let's one. For a jig fish. Yeah, and oh, guess yeah, what, dude? I caught a fish with my trailer, dude. The trailer yeah. that the I shot. Yup. Hey. Yup, dude. That to me was like, all right. That's, 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 that's awesome. a win in my book. I that's was like, awesome. yup, yup. I threw it on. I was like, I got fifth. Yeah. It was him and then you and then me. How many fish did you get? Two. three? Danny got three fish for 51. Oh, did I miss him? No, I got him in. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, I mentioned it. He down 51 inches, that's why I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah. He, he sent me it. I was the one number, and I was like, oh, 51 inch fish. <laughs> <laughs> the sturgeon. So congratulations to Scott. Scott finished up with a total of 88. I think it was 88 and a quarter. But that, that's insane. He caught a, his big fish was 21 and a quarter. Congratulations, Scotty. I feel like we all knew it. Scott was eventually going to take one. He came in second in our last uh, tournament. I think he just caught a big fish. So, congratulations, buddy. Yeah, we had one guy. Oh, yeah, what was big fish? The biggest fish was uh, nine, number nine pounds. Oh, Jesus Christ. And uh, we, had, we had one that uh, was seven, seven and a half. Jeez. Oh, my God, you're alive. Your oh, mom and I have been trying to figure out, like, if you're okay. Oh like, my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my phone died. Yes, we know. Yes, I'm sorry. You suck. <laughs>